Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today we're going to take a look at the latest software update for the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and the Galaxy Z Flip 5. Now this update does include the September 1st patch. This one was pushed off to some of you about seven days ago, a few additional of you three days ago, and even the rest of us starting today. So if you haven't seen this update yet for the Fold 5 and Flip 5, you should be seeing it rolling out very, very soon. So we're going to see if we can find anything that's new, a part of this update. Usually it's just the normal normal patch updates. Sometimes I can find some applications having newer versions. Uh, these sizes right here are right around 400 megabytes and the version ends in AWI1. Now, the other thing that we also want to cover is this right here. Now, I was trying to hope for maybe this update to be pushed off by now, but we're going to see it very, very shortly during this month of September, which is the Samsung One UI 6.0 beta for Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Flip 5. So we'll take a look at that message a little bit later on in this video. So first, if you are interested at looking to wherever this update is, because maybe you don't have it being pushed off automatically, just go to the very top inside of the settings. Then you're going to scroll all the way down. And when you go all the way down, you're going to take a look right here where it says software update. And then you just go to download and install. Now, for some of you, this may be the very first update that you ever do on your phone and for others this might be the second update with the first update being with the august 1st patch now once this is all done and complete we're going to go back to the phone take a look at a few different applications see if there is newer versions because usually they don't really give much details that's a part of this and we'll also take a look at the samsung mobile security page to see what they're talking about with all of the vulnerabilities there should be right around 50 or 60 vulnerabilities fixed and then we're going to take a look at this message here which is talking about the one ui 6.0 beta program with android 14. Now, it's usually at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. And we're also going to take a look inside of the Galaxy Store to see if there's any newer versions of Samsung applications sitting in there after this update. And I'm also going to show you something inside of GoodLock where now you're able to have up to 200 applications working on the cover screen for the Galaxy Z Flip 5. So now that the software update is done and complete, how about we just take a really fast look first at a note about the Galaxy Z Flip 5 Fold 5 heading on to the Samsung One UI 6.0 beta with Android 14. So this is just coming from someone who is from the Note slash Fold slash Flip manager. He's a moderator. Uh, basically, it just says right here, hello, I'm in charge of the Galaxy Z Flip and Fold software. You have inquired about the software beta schedule with One UI 6.0 for the Fold 5 Flip 5 model they are currently doing their best in development and review to finalize the beta version with the goal of distributing it within September. So it's very, very soon. We're almost September 20th. And so we've, there's only just about a week, week and a half left of this month of September. So they will do their best to finish it well and prepare stable software so that the beta version can be opened as planned. So it sounds as if if you own the Flip 5 or Fold 5, which I have right in front of me here, and you would like to test or be a part of Samsung One UI 6.0 beta with Android 14, you will actually have a chance coming up very, very shortly. So now let's take a look at a few different applications or services after this update, just to see if there is any newer versions. And sometimes we'll never really find anything, but it is my job to try to find that thing that has been updated or changed. So first off, we'll take a look at Samsung Home. So with this one for the update was 14.5.0.1.17. And it looks like this one here is gonna be 14.5.0.1.23. So it looks as if there's a slightly newer version of Samsung Home. So if you had any problems or issues with the home, anything with those moving wallpapers or applications or uh, swiping backwards or animations with applications, you're gonna see a fix with your Samsung One UI Home. Then we're gonna take a look inside of the camera. Now, again, both of these ones here are sitting at the exact same versions of all of these different applications I looked at. And my guess is that they're gonna all end at the same number as well. In terms of the version numbers. Now, before this update, the camera was at 13.10169. It looks as if nothing has changed with the camera here, so no newer version. And then I did want to take a look at Samsung Messages. Even though I don't use Messages, I use Google Messages. 
I'm still going to look just because this one is a Samsung application just to see if there was a newer version. Now, before this update, it was 14.5.10.7. So 14.5.10.7. So in terms of the three that I looked at, there was nothing brand new. I didn't really expect to see anything really new. I was very glad to see that the One UI Home was updated. Now, another thing that you also want to take a look at is going to be inside of the Galaxy Store. And when it comes down to the Galaxy Store, sometimes after updates, you'll actually find that there is newer versions of applications up here. So that's some of the reasons why I don't find it right away. Sometimes they're actually just sitting here. So if you haven't checked recently, you might want to take a look because you may have one, two, three, maybe even more applications sitting here depending on when the last time you've updated your phone and also what Samsung applications you have currently. Now, the other thing that I also want to show you is going to be on the Flip 5. When it comes down to the Flip 5, what you're able to do is inside the Galaxy stores, download GoodLock. Now, inside of GoodLock, you're able to give this phone, the Flip 5, the capability of having any application run on the cover screen. And you want to go right over here. So inside of GoodLock, you want to go inside of the tab of Life Up. And then you want to make sure you download Multistar. Now, inside of Multistar, this is where you have this top option here. It's called I Love Galaxy Foldable. And then right there is that launcher widget. Now, this launcher widget now has the capabilities of allowing you to have and use up to 200 applications on the cover screen. And it also works now with Samsung Music. So Samsung Music wasn't sitting there from before. Now, when this one updated, let's say that we go right on back, let's say that we tap on more, you can take a look at Multistar inside of the store. And as you scroll down, you'll be able to see what is new. Now, this one is gonna be pertaining to the Flip 5, Flip 5, and Flip 5. So now limit the number of applications in Launcher Widget up to 200. You can add Samsung Music to Launcher Widget and fixed touch error when running app in Launcher Widget. So if you ever had any errors while trying to run an application, it should hopefully now be fixed. So yeah, there's a lot of really cool things you can take a look at after all of these different little updates. Now we're gonna head inside of the Samsung mobile security page just because I wanna see what is new in terms of vulnerabilities, how many of it was on the Google side and how many of it was on the Samsung side. So I just went inside of the settings. We're gonna head down over into About Phone. And then inside of About Phone, I tapped on Software Information and this is where you can see that latest security patch, which is September 1st. So this is gonna first take you over into a Android site, you're going to click on this very first option where it says read. And then as you're scrolling down, you're going to choose the option for Samsung. And this takes you into the Samsung mobile security. And again, I'll place this link below the video inside the description. It'll take you directly to this page here. Now, as you scroll on down, pretty much everything that you see on the top is on the Google side of things. So it looks as if there is four different critical vulnerabilities that was fixed. It looks as about maybe 40 of them sitting here in terms of high, maybe 50 of them nothing as moderate. And then because it's from the, the Google side of things, the, the ones that are listed right here are not applicable to the Samsung devices. Now, as you scroll on down, these ones are gonna be dealing with these Samsung updates. And so it looks as if they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, looks like 16 updates when it comes down on the Samsung side of things. And as we mentioned from before, the update that we saw, one of them was for Samsung One UI uh, in terms of the Samsung One UI Home. So it looks as if right here, this is why we noticed that update with Samsung One UI Home is that there was something going on. They were able to fix it. The severity of what they fixed was just moderate. And that is why we have a newer Samsung One UI Home. And the same thing here, it looks as if they had two of them for the One UI Home. So that's very cool. I saw another one that was for the weather widget. So more than likely, if you take a look at the weather widget or the weather application on Samsung phones, there was maybe an update there sitting as well. So that was everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. The little update that happened to the Flip 5 and the Fold 5. Also the upcoming Samsung One UI 6.0 beta program is coming very soon. We took a look at the Samsung mobile page. We took a, took a look inside of the Galaxy Store. We took a look inside of the GoodLock application. So this way you can have more applications for the Flip 5. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.